This video is brought to you by HoodBeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. HoodBeast.com. What's up everybody? I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the Nike Flyknit Trainer. For the first time since 2012, Nike has brought back one of their Flyknit classics, the Flyknit Trainer. A lot of you Kanye heads out there know these as the Yainits. This is a sneaker that experienced the full Kanye effect, and by that I mean when these first dropped, they sold okay, but as soon as Kanye wore them, instant sellout. Now that Kanye is with Adidas, we've obviously seen that same effect happen with the Ultra Boost. Even though Kanye is no longer with Nike, the shoe still has a soft spot in a lot of people's hearts, and it's a great looking sneaker, so it sold out pretty quick. So with all that being said, let's get into the sneaker. Here they are, the Nike Flyknit Trainer in the black and white colorway. Starting off with the upper of the shoe, you've got the reason the shoe is called the Flyknit Trainer, the full Flyknit upper. The toe box has a black and white Oreo or static pattern that has a couple different areas that are darker than others, like these black spots and then this lighter streak across the front. The Flyknit material is very flexible and breathable, however it's not very similar to Prime Knit in that it's not stretchy. That's not a bad thing though and it doesn't hinder comfort in the slightest. Moving back on the shoe, you've got black fly wire holding the white laces in place. If you don't already know, Nike uses fly wire instead of standard lace eyelets on some sneakers because it allows the laces to actually tighten the entire upper of the shoe because the fly wire runs throughout the upper. In between the fly wire segments, there are areas of looser knit which allow for more breathability, which I really dig. Of course, you've got your white fly knit tongue with a Nike Flyknit trainer patch at the top. As usual with Nike sneakers, you've got your bold swoosh branding in black on both sides of the sneaker. Inside the shoe, there really isn't too much in the way of padding. It's basically just a Flyknit upper, which I think is totally comfortable in and of itself. You've also got a black removable insole with no branding on it whatsoever. And then at the top of the ankle, you find the main difference between the 2017 version of the shoe and the 2012 version of the shoe, which is on the 2017 version, the top of the ankle is white, and on the 2012 version, it's black. That might bother some people. I don't know why because it's such a minor change. It certainly doesn't bother me, but just something to note. And around the back of the shoe, you've got your black pull tab with hits of 3M. As for fit, I went true to size and this shoe fits me fine with no issues at all. However, I do have kind of narrow feet and I've heard that people with wider feet might want to go up half a size because it is a relatively narrow shoe. Moving down the shoe, you've got your white and black midsole, which is very similar to the Nike Flyknit Racers midsole, except it's a little bit wider in the heel, which I kind of prefer because it feels like it's a little bit more stable. And finally, rounding off the shoe, you've got your white outsole, with this little bit of Nike branding in the middle. I don't know if you guys remember the original Nike Plus from back in the iPod days where you could put this little chip in the bottom of your shoe and it would sync up with your iPhone or iPod and, and sort of count your steps or something like that. But that logo detail reminds me so much of that Nike Plus branding, just the way it's put on the shoe and the color scheme and everything like that. I always wanted a pair of Nike Plus shoes, but I could never get them, so. I mean, it is what it is. Like, it wasn't an amazing piece of technology. It was just something that, you know, at the time I wanted. Overall, I'm really happy that Nike decided to retro the Flyknit Trainer. I think it's a really great silhouette, and I think this colorway in particular is really, really clean. This shoe is pretty much sold out everywhere. There might be restocks. I wouldn't be surprised. There are a couple other colorways dropping soon, so if you're trying to grab this shoe and you don't really care what colorway you get, you can wait for one of those. Or if you really want this colorway, resale right now is like 200 bucks. It's not bad. Now that we've got the review out of the way, let's put these guys on feet and see how they look. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you think of the Nike Flyknit Trainer and if you're planning to grab a pair for yourself. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me, Seth Fowler, if you want to see more content just like this. And follow me on all other forms of social media. The links will be in the description below.